It is now the fourth day in a row where teachers of the second largest school district in the nation are out on strike. All right. Now, apparently, the bills are piling up for the district as more kids are deciding not to attend class. So we wondered. So now it's the children who are on strike as a result of the teachers being on strike. RT correspondent Natasha Sweet from Los Angeles. It's day four and more than 30,000 teachers are out on strike here in Los Angeles. And according to the union, they're not giving up anytime soon. Thursday morning, the union said they're not giving in without a fight. They're even citing on the idea of schools being shut down until an agreement can be made. Teacher Union President Alex Caputo Pearl says the teachers just have to last one day longer than Superintendent Austin Butner. Here we are on a rainy day in the richest country in the world, in the richest state in the country, in a state as blue as it can be, and in a city rife with millionaires where teachers have to go on strike to get the basics for our students. The way the district sees it, classes are still happening and substitutes will continue to carry out their lesson plans. But it's not without a hefty price tag. And part of the reason is the low attendance rates. So far, the district lost $69 million in state revenue payments. On the first day of the strike, attendance was 156,744. By Tuesday, it increased to 171,480. On day three, there was a significant drop to 132,411 students, a 22% decrease from the day before. And I think this uh, strike is misguided. Larry Sand, president of the California Teachers Empowerment Network, taught in the Los Angeles School District for 24 years and another four in New York. He says the health care coverage retired teachers like himself receive is simply bankrupting the system. Health care benefits are costing the district so much money that the district is due to go bankrupt by 2021. From what I understand, initially, um, Mr. Butner was wanting to, you know, give them a pay raise and, and hire more professionals, uh, counselors, nurses, and everything else. But at what point is enough enough? Because, again, this is all being footed by the taxpayer. Right, that's a great question. And, and a, a lot of the problem here is the district's doing because the district has been giving money away or I should say wasting money like a drunken sailor for years. And now all of a sudden, uh, the, 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 the payment has come due and the, and the district really doesn't have it. And what are your thoughts about the union encouraging kids to skip class during the strike? I think it's frankly a selfish motive by the union. But Michael Denman says for him, it's all about the kids. We're out here to try to get a fair contract. We're out here for our kids. Uh, our public schools have been underfunded for far too long. So we're standing up and we're speaking out on our kids' behalf. And now the union says Mayor Eric Garcetti is going to help mediate and work toward an agreement. But the mayor has not publicly stated where he falls on the matter. Now the union said they expect this strike to go into next week. And tomorrow a group of celebrities are said to be attending a rally downtown to show their support for the strike. In Los Angeles, Natasha Sweets, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.